Good morning everybody. It is Wednesday morning the 1st of July. Um, summer has arrived at last and we're going to gather together this morning to read God's Word. We're going to read Psalm 14. So let's read this together. Only fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, they have all turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never, never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to the Lord. Terror will grip them, for God is with those who obey him. The wicked frustrate the plans of the oppressed. But the Lord will protect his people. Who will rescue? Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When the Lord restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy and Israel will rejoice. Amen. Again, another interesting psalm. Um, all of the psalms, like I said, are an outpouring of, of emotion, um, of prayer as well as of song. But each psalm brings something or teaches us something different. So Psalm 14, it says at the very start, Only fools say in our heart there is no God. God t tells us we're foolish if we ignore him. We're foolish if we try to deny him. Um, that foolishness could come, could come from ignorance or it could come from evil. It goes on to say their action, they are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. You know, it's, it's trying to impress upon us the importance of realising who God is and, and obeying him and following him. It recognises that those of us who do follow God, we will face problems, we will face oppression. It says that, um, that they eat up my people like bread. Uh, it, it talks about how they frustrate, the wicked frustrate the plans of the oppressed. But it says, but the Lord will protect his people. There's a promise in that. That God is with us, that God doesn't leave us. You know, we often quote the verse in the Bible, I will never leave you or forsake you. And we quote other verses like, I will hold you by the right hand, I the Lord your God. And I say, Do not be afraid, for I am here to help you. you know, we, there's all sorts of verses like that, but it's actually realizing that. It's actually it's one thing to, to, to know a verse, to be able to quote a verse, but it's actually realizing that God is with us and that God protects us. And at the very end, who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When the Lord restores his people, Jacob will shout for joy and Israel will rejoice. Who will come from Mount Zion? God. God will always be with us and always look after us. So yeah, today's the 1st of July. If you've got children who've been at school, maybe yesterday was their last official day. Um, maybe they had a leavers service if... if online if they were going from P7 into um, year 8. Um, you know, so this this is a changing point. We change because we move from the thought of it's June to now July. Uh, and, you know, we, we we wonder about, you know, the way ahead and changes in the way ahead. You know, life's always changing. Here's one change. What about if we trusted God more? What about if we let God into our hearts more? What about if we just relied upon him? How would that change what's happening to us now? There's the thought for you for this, this morning. Let's come, let's pray together. Father, again on this day, thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your provision. Just thank you for keeping us safe during the night. And thank you that we can do this now. Lord, if we do pray for um, all our children at all the different various stages of school, now that school officially even online is, is ending, we ask that you would look after our children and young people over the summer and help them, keep them out of harm's way, uh, and to help us to show, help, help them just to, to stay close to you. Uh, Lord, for those who have finished one school and are heading into another school, uh, this has been a, a, a difficult time for them. What they would normally do hasn't been happening, but Lord, Help them to know that you will go with them and that, God willing, in September, that as they start a new school, 
that you will be with them. Lord, for others who are waiting for results this year um, from GCSEs and A-levels, just be with them and help them also. It's a strange time for them. After all the work that they've been doing, just, just be with them and look after them. And for us all, Father, just continue to remind us that you are with us, that you look after us and protect us. So, Lord, thank you and help us to live for you this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching. Um, I trust that you have a good day and that you would know God's blessing. So I'll see you again, same time, same place tomorrow. Take care. Bye.